For this problem, we want to take our expression and write it as a single logarithm. That means we're going to use some of the properties of logarithms. For example, we have a power rule which tells us if we have a constant out in front of our logarithm, that constant can be brought up on top as an exponent. We also know that if we're adding logarithms, they can be combined as the product of a single logarithm, or that if we're subtracting them, it would be the logarithm of a single quotient. And so we can convert separate logarithms into a single logarithm following some of the product quotient and power rules. So for example here, the 6 out in front of this log, well it's the log of x, so because of the 6 in front we can pull that up and make it x to the 6th power. And the same thing here with the log of y, instead of the 2 in front, that's the same as pulling this 2 up and making it log of the quantity y squared. And now because we're adding two logarithms together, we can actually combine them as a product, and it would be the log of the x to the 6 times the y to the second power. And now we've expressed this as a single logarithm.